Okay, let's talk about square root equations. And if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you're going to have to know how to solve equations like this, things that have uh, where the variable is under a square root. Okay, so if you've been confused about this, well, we're going to go through this one problem nice and slow, like real slow. I'm going to explain every single aspect of how to solve square root equations. So again, you might be, uh, you might be doing problems like this, but if you're not getting the answers right or if you just feel like you're kind of uh, guessing, well, we're going to uh, change that in this video. We're going to get you to thoroughly understand exactly why you need to solve these equations in a particular way, and you'll get these answers right all the time. All right, but uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, if you're struggling in math, it doesn't have to be that way. All math students can be successful in math, but it requires two things. One, it requires a student to work hard, so you got to keep working hard. But the second thing you need to be successful in math is great math instruction, clear and understandable and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, and you need assistance in mathematics, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. By the way, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, maybe the uh, maybe like a teacher certification exam, I can help you out there. And if you homeschool, I have full middle school and high school math courses. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to help me out by smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. But uh, let's go ahead and get going and uh, work on this one problem. We're gonna, you're going to understand this problem so thoroughly that anytime you see square root equations uh, from this point forward, you're going to get them right every single time. So that's the idea here. But let's go ahead and uh, look at this um, equation from this way, okay? So here, mathematically, we have the square root of x is equal to nine, solve this equation. But what is x? Well, x is a variable, and variables in algebra, whether it's x, y, z, a, it doesn't make a difference. What do these things represent? They're just numbers, okay? So variables just represent numbers. So really, uh, what this is saying, okay, from like a, uh, an English sentence uh, type of expression is, hey, the square root of what number is equal to 9? So the square root of what number is equal to 9? If I was to ask you, I was like, uh, hey, uh, the square root of some number is equal to 9, what's that number? And you'd be like, oh, yeah, you don't know that. Uh, it's 81, okay? The square root of 81 is 9. I knew that because 9 times 9 is 81. Everyone should know the answer to that. So that's pretty easy, right? If I just ask you, hey, the square root of what number is 9, you would tell me um, it's 81, right? So this equation here is effectively, you know, uh, equations, they speak to us, okay? You have to kind of read them uh, so you really understand what's being asked of us, right? So the square root of what number x is 9? The goal here is to um, determine what x is, uh, what x represents or what x is equal to. So we want to solve for x. Of course, we know that x must be equal to 81, because if I replace this x with an 81, that's going to be a true statement. But let's talk about the process of doing that. Okay, so anytime in algebra, uh, when you're trying to solve for an equation, what you're trying to do is to solve for this particular variable, whatever you're trying to solve for, variable or variables. So in this case, we have the square root of x is equal to 9. Again, we're trying to figure out what is the value of x. Now, we know that x is equal to 81. Because the square root, if I replace this x with an 81, the square root of 81 is 9. So x must be 81. So we know that. I'm going to talk about how we get to this in a second. But I want you to understand this from a big picture standpoint, is that when you see an equation in algebra, what you're trying to do is uh, solve for that one variable. So I'm trying to rewrite this equation such that its x is equal to some number. And this number here, if I did everything right, will be the solution okay, to that equation. So really what I'm trying to do is to get away from the square root of x and uh, get to an x. Okay, So that's my objective, and then that will be the solution. All right, so how can I go from the square root of an x to an x? Well, that's what we're going to talk about next. Okay, so anytime you have the square root of a variable, like the square root of an x, the way you can go and write that as just an x is to square it, 
Now, I'm going to give you a whole explanation here in a second, but the square root of x squared is x. The square root of y squared is what? y. The square root of, let's see here, a plus b, okay, if I have the square root, let me write that a little bit better, just going to make my point here, the square root of a plus b, if I square that whole thing, what's that going to be equal to? Simply just a plus b, okay, so whatever, you're, if you have an expression like this, if you square a square root, you're just going to end up with underneath uh, with that value underneath the square root. So again, remember, I have the square root of x is equal to 9. I want to just uh, solve for x. So I need to do something that's just going to give me an x, not a square root of x. What is that? Well, that's to square uh, this side, and I need to square this side. I'm going to get into this more in a second. But let's take a look at why uh, the square root of x, when I square it, it's just going to be x. So the square root of x squared, okay, anything squared, if I have 2 squared, that means 2 times 2. If I take the square root of x and I square it, that means the square root of x times the square root of x. Now, in algebra, what I can do here, instead of having two separate little square roots, I'm multiplying two square roots, this x and this x, the square root of x, this one, I could just multiply these here underneath one big square root, okay? So the, this uh, expression here is equal to this expression. So the square root of x times the square root of x is equal to the square root of x times x. x times x is x squared. So now I have the square root of x squared, and that's equal to x. Now, let's think of it this way. What if I had the square root of 2 squared? Okay, well, 2 squared is 4, and uh, all you out there know that the square root of 4 is 2. So you can kind of see the pattern here. 2 squared, the square root of that is 2. Okay, which, of course, 2 squared is 4. That's 2. So the square root of x squared is x. Okay, so just, again, remember, any time that, uh, let me go ahead and use a different variable, like g, if I had the square root of g and I want to just get that by itself, I just square it and I uh, just get that variable underneath that square root. That's what you have to remember. This is critical to solve square root equations. Okay, so now... Knowing that, I'm like, okay, I got this square root of x equal to 9. I need to get to just an x. So how can I get rid of that square root? We'll just square this side, okay? We're going to square that square root right there. And when I square the square root, we know it's just going to be x. But here's the deal. Anytime in algebra uh, you're solving an equation, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do the exact same step on the other side. That is a basic um, principle of solving equations in algebra, you always got to think of it as a, a as like a balance scale. So if you're going to take um, and square something on this side of the equation, you must square the exact same stuff on the other side of the equation. So if I take uh, have the square root of x and I square it, and I need to do that because I need to get this x by itself, well, I have to square the other side. So 9 squared, which is 9 times 9, is 81. And take a look at that. That is our solution. x is equal to 81. Now, anytime you're solving square root equations, you need to get in the habit of checking your solution, okay? And there, that's a whole other explanation, and I won't go too technical on you, but, but basically just get in the habit of checking your solution. Now, this, in fact, is a solution, x is equal to 81. If I can go back, replace this x with what I believe is the correct solution, 81. So I'm going to replace this x with 81, and then I'm going to take the square root of 81, and that indeed is 9. Anytime you're checking solutions in square roots, use the principal square root. So for example, the square root of 4, the principal square root is 2. Okay, It's basically the positive version of that. Now, uh, when you're dealing with like quadratic equations and other type of uh, more interesting uh, type of advanced equations, the square root of 4 is also positive and negative 2. Okay, Because positive 2 times positive 2 is 4. And negative 2 times negative 2 is also a positive 4. So this is technically correct, but anytime you're checking, go ahead and just use the principal square root. That's what you want to do here. Because you could say, oh, the square root of 81 is equal to positive negative 9. Well, it's negative 9, and this negative 9 right here is not the same as 9, so this is false. No, don't worry about that. Again, 
to stick with the principal square root. That is a very confusing point for a lot of students, and I don't think it's uh, taught well enough, uh, and I want to uh, make sure I'm t uh, really kind of emphasizing how to check these solutions. All right, so the square root of 81, of course, is a positive 9, and 9 is equal to 9. That's a true sta statement. Therefore, this value there is the solution, okay? Now, you might think that, wow, that's a long explanation just to uh, explain this one little simple problem. Here's the deal, okay? If you just kind of blindly uh, learn algebra just by, okay, just do whatever steps and try to remember everything by what we call rote memorization, like, you know, uh, you know the kind of stuff you would learn like on a flashcard, like your times table and whatnot, all the things that you learn. Rote memorization is important, but what's better than rote memorization is you, for you to actually have a deep understanding of algebra, right? So we want to get your algebra brain really filled up with comprehension and mastery, okay? You know, one way uh, to, to tell whether you really learned something is if you can teach this stuff. Can you teach, could you teach your younger brother or sister how to solve this equation, all right? And maybe charge them like five bucks for tutoring. <laughs> You'll be like, hey, give me five bucks, I'll teach you exactly how to do that. If you can teach something, that means you know something, all right? But uh, too often, uh, a lot of you out there are learning math by just, you know, trying to quickly go through it and just learn the steps, that's not good. So if you really want to measure how well you're learning uh, something, uh, think about could you teach this to someone else? If you could, that means you have a strong understanding of that topic. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap this up again. If you need further help um, uh, with square roots or anything else mathematics, let me give you a couple suggestions. One, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel, over a thousand plus videos from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So uh, please take advantage of my content. I make it for you, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.